Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelorette Recap, a guy's review, aka Belizean Bad Boy, aka Linen Shirt Dave, uh, Second Amendment, trigger warning right here, sun's out, guns out, folks, that's right, curls for girls, we are here on the second floor of this amazing house in St. Pedro, shout out to Teresa, one of our Patreon members who uh, is letting us stay at her home for the next couple days. You are amazing. More details to come, more drone shots, more of that. But right now we have a breaking news story. So I'm just going to share this with you. Then I'm going to go about my day and have a blast. So I'm going to share with you this story about Katie Thurston. Now, this is her at the Men Tell All. But there was a leaked photo today from the Women's Tell All. I'll get into that in a second. But do me a favor. If you love me, I know you guys do. Hit the uh, subscribe button below. Like this video. And you're welcome for a little Saturday morning cartoon session, if you will. All of the shots from my trip in Belize, I'm going to have on my Instagram at Neal. So go follow that if you want to see this beautiful drone shot. There's literally going to be, you know, right from that path right there, leads right to the ocean. It's mind blowing. I'll get better video later. I'm a little backlit right now, but let's get right into it. Now, here's what we've got. This is the photo. Again, this is a spoiler video. This is the photo. There's no spoiler yet, but I'm about to share it with you. So tune away if you don't want the spoiler, okay? This photo was leaked um, accidentally by Gary Cannon. Now, stick with me right now. I'm going to go into this photo, but I just wanted to shout out some of my friends over at Mark's Golf Rental. Now, hold on a second. They're not a sponsor or anything, but they picked me and Tasha up yesterday. We flew from Belize City on like a 20-minute flight. Little puddle jumper. We landed in San Pedro. Get ready for this. Are you guys ready? Look what they picked me up with. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've had this nickname for two days, self-professed linen shirt Dave, hashtag LSD, yeah, you know me, and here we are, they gave us this nice shout out. If anyone, if anyone is traveling to San Pedro, these are the people you want picking you up from the airport or ferry. Again, not a, not a sponsor, I'm going to make some fun content for them though with the drone and driving along the beach and all that jazz. So anyway, if you, if you find yourself in San Pedro, that's where you want to go. Now, okay, that, that I had to share that with you guys. There's some construction going on next door. I don't know if you guys can hear me okay, but let's just get right into it. So here's the spoiler, okay? So Gary Cannon, uh, here's his Twitter right here. He's, he's a, I don't know him personally. I might have met him before, but we have a ton of friends in common. He's an LA-based stand-up comedian, but he also is one of the most successful warm-up show comedians. Now, what does a warm-up comedian do? They get paid good money. They get paid like five, six, seven hundred dollars $700 to do a set um, before the show and in between takes. So essentially they're doing crowd work with the audience. They got the DJ, they're doing a playlist where they're playing music. They're having people do dance offs. They're keeping the audience entertained. So when the show goes live, the audience is engaged. I mean, you can't just turn a hundred people's attention on it. Hey, clap everybody. No, no, no. He keeps them focused for like three, four hours in between takes in between shots in between lighting setups and breaks and this and that, uh, the job, they literally don't get paid enough, but might not be a big fan of The Bachelorette, might not, and again, I don't know for sure, might not understand what he did. He tweeted this photo this morning or last night, which has since been deleted. Now, do we know why this is a big deal? Look closely, folks. There's a diamond ring. Katie Thurston's engaged still. Now, we, we kind of knew this. This is a spoiler video, so I give you the spoiler warning. We kind of knew she was probably engaged. I'm not going to get into who she's engaged to here, but if you know previous videos, you know who it is. And as of this past week, let's go to Katie's stories. Um, I believe she just filmed this last night or two nights ago. She was in California. She's saying peace. She's heading home to go work on her um, world geography there. We love you, Katie. We love you. I think most people understand, you know, that, uh, that uh, you're being overly scrutinized. And uh, perfection is the enemy of good. And keep doing you. Keep working hard. Keep loving. Keep sharing that positive energy. And you're, we're better off not to try to tear everyone apart. We will be left with nothing but stumps in the ground if we do that. We are, we're all not perfect. Okay, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, she says, peace to Los Angeles. And that was it. So she filmed this. There isn't much else we can discern from this photo here, but this is Gary Cannon. He was just excited. He got a photo with the two leads. He got, I mean, I'm sorry, with the two co-hosts. He got a photo with the lead. He's like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. I'll post the photo. Clearly he wasn't at the meeting. 
uh, he probably gets hired from one end where, you know, obviously everyone in the audience gets told, don't tweet about it. Don't do this. And he goes, I didn't tweet anything. I didn't show any of the contestants. I just took a photo. But little did he know, Mr. Neil Lane was hanging out there. And some people are saying this ring might actually be smaller than others. I know this from experience. And again, you guys can let me know as an audience. It's hard to tell how big a ring is. Hey, Tasha, let me see if Tasha can come in here. Let's see if we can get Tasha in here. Hold on one second, folks. We're going to get Tasha in here. Can I, can I get your perspective on this ring size? We have a very blurry photo. So what I'm going to need you to do, if you don't mind, is come on in here. Now, just give me a second to try to frame it up so that we can see you okay. I might not be able to do this on the fly. I um, can't believe you're not I'll tell you what, let's using do this. this background as the whole background. Well, I had this as the whole background, but I wanted to... Ladies and gentlemen, Tasha Courtney here. She's, I can't see. It's glaring. Well, hold on a second. Tasha's recovering from her ankle. Do you want to show people your ankle? Hold on, folks. You, you know, you, you, waited, you waited for it. Let's see if we can get it. I was, I was gonna pick you up. No, no. Hold on a second. You're gonna Just see. My Tasha up. rolled her ankle. Are you sure she rolled? There she is, folks. You don't want me to show the bruise? No. Maybe on Instagram yeah. you can see. It. Go to Tasha's Instagram at Tasha Courtney. And you'll see the bruise. She she rolled her ankle as far away as we were biking before coming back. So about 40 minutes into a bike ride, and then she was able to hobble herself back. So major credit here. Now let's look at this photo. Are we noticing? I know it's blurry, but what would you say? is the ring size here, looking at this photo. What would you say the ring size is there? A carrot size. You know, we're looking at a very grainy photo. She's looking at, she's touched, she's looking at her hand. I'm what trying to you, compare give us, like, give us what you think. That way when we actually get the specs, we'll see how close your vision is. This I'm is gonna like, say like two and a half or three. You, you think it's that small? It, it's two to three. I hate to, to say three. that small. No, but, that's huge, but honey. Can, but what was the last Bachelor at five? No, you know? wasn't, uh, wasn't Tasha like in the four plus? Claire's, I think, was the biggest one. But carrot is tricky because it's not like some diamonds are like thick and chunky in the middle, like this, and some diamonds are thin and spready. So it's thin and spready. Is that a Neil Lane term? That's a real diamond term. Thin and spready is how I. Uh... Yeah. So some are like more like a bowl, and some are more like a plate. Do you think Claire got a bigger one because she's moody? Do you think they're like, Claire, we're going to be the biggest rock we have. We don't want to hear anything about Listen, it. Listen, people choose their rings on all different things, on like feeling, right? When you go in, sit down with Neil Lane, I imagine you've got a selection of rings in front of you. But Katie but doesn't also, choose the ring. Ble well, I know. Else. That's what I'm saying. So like he, you've got a selection of rings in front of you and it's going to be what gives you the best feeling. Maybe like. You know, some rings are just a solitaire. Some rings have like a halo or a hidden halo. Some have like, you know, like a ballerina style, like above and below. There's a million different reasons why you might choose whatever ring you might choose. I almost think that Claire's, I don't remember. Did hers have little triangles on either side? I don't know. I don't know. It wouldn't get too complicated. It's like you get a diamond. I want a diamond with diamond encrusted diamonds on top of the diamond. I want the ring to be encrusted down. it's like listen you get one diamond okay make the most of it by the way how how did how 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 did you feel getting off the plane and seeing linen shirt dave has an audience that in was San hilarious Pedro. did you show the photo i yet? showed the photo linen shirt dave absolutely yeah at first, i was just looking for like we're up here dave neal or tasha courtney i know i was just looking for tasha courtney or dave neal on this side and i saw like i was so i was just looking at first letters and I saw L and just my eyes skimmed right by it and then I heard you chuckle and I saw you looking. Which by the way, so funny. also Tasha should let people know she got to fly co-pilot. I on did. This I haven't, I didn't you post, post a photo. I didn't post anything will you, will you on post Instagram one today? yesterday. Post one on Instagram. After we got in, I have just posted on stories this morning showing the place well, a little bit. Go post on Instagram so people can go follow. No, but I want to save it for a post post. So it's post, not going to come oh, till. Okay. Tuesday. Well, hold on, folks. Set your alerts for Tuesday when Tasha shows you her co-piloting skills. She literally was giving the pilot advice. She's like, "Make a left at that cloud, <laughs> not that cloud. Watch out for that. Watch out for that wind spout or whatever. What is it called? Anyway, um, we got a lot of uh, relaxing and leisure to do, but uh, that's it. That's the spoiler. So, so Tasha, you didn't get the gist. This is Gary Cannon. He's a warm-up comic, and all he did was tweet this photo, and he didn't know any better. Oh, you know what I mean? Guy. Poor guy, right? So He's there never he is. Gonna work again. Well, he. Do he, you want me to zoom this out? Yeah. So so Gary Cannon is um he's actually like the number one, he's like the number one crowd work like a uh, comedian for like warm up shows. So he will work again. He's done like all of Conan. He's done thousands of these. So there's a reason they picked him. But um 
clearly he probably went to bed last night. He's like, oh yeah, I'll post this photo. He's the only one with his 2,000 followers. And I'm sure he woke up to messages and calls from producers going, what are you doing? <laughs> he's like, oh, whoops. So well, anyway, we've always figured Katie the sp- is with somebody. The spoiler was that she is with somebody. And to be honest, part of me was thinking maybe they told him to post this because it is hype for the episode because it doesn't actually reveal anything. So we'll have to see about all that. Um, we have to go drive around the town and have a daiquiri. Not at the same time, but um, we got a lot of uh, leisure to do. So I think we're all set on this spoiler. Uh, everyone wish Tasha well. Um, Let me and, just um, hobble away. She's going to hobble away. Um, she's got one more thing to complain about now. Uh, no, she's got a nasty bruise. It, the, the weird part about your bruise is that it, it looks like a spite. Like, it looks like a giant spider vein exploded. Like it's very, you have a very centralized bruise. Yeah, it's like all of the base of my foot. Yeah. All the blood went down the yeah. All the blood kind of drains down the bone and collects at the bone. It's nasty, folks. But anyway, if we know any um, uh, physicians here in San Pedro, I'm kidding. So again, thank you so much, Teresa, for the spot. We're gonna get some great photos for you and some great videos of our location here. But uh, we've got some uh, leisure to do. So let me know what you think. If you guys, if anyone wants to take a guess at the size of this ring, go for it. And then once we actually know the details, we can see who is right. Um, I'm gonna go with what Tasha said and say it's about two and a half to three carats solitaire who knows but anyway uh, they look dazzling we'll get some uh, more info about this to come i got more videos coming to you starting on monday if there's any breaking news i'll get it to you this weekend but i think that's it for me so go catch up on all the content you missed and i will see you guys later linen shirt dave out